Field Forecast. All right, milder weather continues to stream into southern New England. Now, yesterday's high temperatures were around freezing. We will do a little bit better than that today, getting temperatures into the 40s. Let's talk about why that's going to happen. And our upper level winds as of late have been dragging in a lot of cold air from the north right over Canada. And that starts to change today. You could see our upper level wind pattern for today still kind of coolish. But notice what happens as we go into Monday. We start to shift around those upper level winds more from a westerly direction that taps into some milder air and that will especially be the case on Tuesday. You could see more of that mild air tap coming in and some of our temperatures on Tuesday could actually reach the low 60s, if you can believe that. Right now, nowhere close to the 60s. It's still a cool start, but not nearly as cold as the past couple of mornings. We're 31 right now in Glendale, 30 in Smithfield, 33 in Providence, 35 in Westerly. And there's a slight risk of some icy spots out there, not because of any freezing rain or anything like that, but because we have humidity streaming into the area. Some of these spots still hovering around freezing. When you get under that atmospheric setup, sometimes you can get some slick spots which can sneak up on you. So I just want to be mindful of that and let you know about that this morning. Cumberland right now at 30 degrees and in Smithfield we're sitting at 34. We're 33 in Providence with winds out of the west at six miles an hour. So our wind chill is at 28. Not too bad, given our wind chills below zero during many hours over the past couple days, right? Newport, uh, actually, that's not Newport, that was Providence, but you can see visibility was in good shape. And our satellite picture is showing a lot of dryness here across the northeast. Now, notice there are some clouds streaming in from the northwest, and we may be stuck with those at times this morning, but overall, we'll get some sunshine in here by this afternoon. Now, I want to fast forward all the way until Wednesday night because that's when our next major weather maker approaches. Now, you can see this could start as an icy mix. Most likely, though, it's just plain old rain for us here in southern New England. And then on Thursday, likely some rain showers. A few showers could be heavy at times. And this may continue all the way into Friday. Friday. So unfortunately, if you're a snow lover, this system is not going to cut it. This will be mostly liquid here for southern New England, and we will keep an eye on that icy threat late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Hour by hour today, temperatures getting into the 40s by around 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe even by lunchtime around 41 in Providence, 40 in Taunton. And then for the big game festivities, maybe this is right around the time where you're driving over to someone's house to watch the big game. We're sitting in the low to mid 30s, not really that bad for this time of year. Temperatures similar by the time you're probably driving home from that big game party and then tomorrow morning we start in the 30s but then temperatures really jump towards late Monday morning into Monday afternoon. We'll show you those mild temperatures in just a second. Today's forecast does show much less wind than we had yesterday. We had some breezes between 20 and 25 miles an hour yesterday. Not going to happen today around 5 miles an hour, 9 a.m. noontime around 5 miles an hour and then from the south at 5 to 10 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Seven day forecast shows those milder temperatures on the way. So from 42 today to 51 tomorrow and then 62 potentially on Tuesday. So how about that for a big change? And then towards the middle of the week, temperatures do go back to reality with the chance of a little bit of an icy mix, especially for interior spots Wednesday night to Thursday morning. But we are expecting mostly rain showers Thursday and Friday with temperatures in the upper 40s. It does get colder behind that rainy system on Friday. So by Saturday, highs back into the low to mid 30s. But look at that milder trend on the way, Julian. You know, Pete, I just got back from Aruba. These temperatures can't beat that, <laughs> but it, I'll take it. I was going to say, we <laughs> can't quite get as warm as probably what you experienced there, but we'll no, try. I'm not complaining, though. 60s are fine with me. Yes, they are. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Yeah. Covering New England this morning, Massachusetts State